Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. We might be getting food ready for us, but I think we're we're a lunch for these flies today. Whoa! Great, mommy. We have a problem. A bag opened, and everything went everywhere. I feel like we're in the future, eating out of tubes. <laughs> Little tubes that uh, made at home at the Home Depot and bought. Oh. 23 feet of uh, ABS piping here, four inch diameter, so that we can carry all our food inside here in bear country. And by putting the lid on here, the rubber seal, it in theory should be a bear proof container. Something like that. And if any bear can get through here, then he's welcome to it. It also gives us a chance to carry it on our packs, which are already going to be full. Normal bear containers are kind of a little barrel. and. Well, there's not much room in our packs or barrels, so we thought if we made them like this, we can strap one on each side of our packs, or at least one per person. The food that Jan is dehydrated back spaghetti at home. And spaghetti and sauce with hamburger. Yep. Doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully, it'll... once it's all in the water and boiled, and uh, we'll let you know what it looks like. Nice about this stuff, though, is it doesn't smell anything uh, until you open it up. So it should be very bear proof and it's very compact. There's a meal in here for all four of us once you rehydrate it all. Maybe bear proof, but it may not have any food in it. I guess. No, it's not going to work. But you know what? They're never going to come out of there to get them in. Okay, breakfast, oatmeal, and one of these. Are going to and hummus for lunch. Hummus, how are you pronouncing it? Uh, and a dinner. So we get a whole day's worth of food. And if this works like it's supposed to, I should be able to shove it all in here. Right down to the bottom. This is the long table. And we got ourselves breakfast, dinner, lunch for day one. And it's coming to about there. So we should be able to fit three days worth in one tube. Because we're going to be at a base camp, we can use the barrel to carry the bulk of the food in. Rather than carrying around ten days worth of food and all the bear and all the tubes, the biggest problem being that those bagels over there that we really like to carry don't really fit in the tubes too well. And all those other stuff too. And all the other containers with our jam and coffee and everything ah, else. So we're yeah. doing a compromise using a barrel that we use for canoeing all the time, um, and because we're going out with uh, someone from Polytuck who's going to be hauling all our gear out there by ATV, we'll be able to use that at base camp. And when we hike out overnight, we'll use these tubes put uh, the food that we need in for a couple of days at a time. So the best of both worlds. <laughs>